Sylvester was supposed to be here with us this evening, but he is unfortunately on his way to the doctor to have a COVID test um, because he was in contact with someone whose father passed away a couple of days ago. So he sends his love. He sent a photograph of himself, which um, <laughs> of course he did. And I have to show you because you obviously have to see the mask that he's wearing. Yeah, almost. <laughs> you see that? Sunglasses and mask. Okay, so he sends his love. He said, um, please pass my love and congratulate congratulatory wishes to everyone. All right. And Pumla is um, unfortunately also not with us because her sister passed away and she has had to go to Mtata to organize a funeral and all of those things. So I thought what I would quickly do is to give you my thoughts on their partnership in two minutes. So this was an interesting partnership because Sylvester and Pumla knew each other for a long time. In fact, Sylvester was one of Pumla's students at Itembelitle um, because he, she was there when he was a uh, learner. And um, so I don't know if you, if you remember from the cop, she said, this was going to be interesting because this was one of, one of my children mm -hmm. that's now with me. And um, so they've had a very interesting partnership because they are so very different. Um, Sylvester is, is very, I mean, you know Sylvester, um, energetic, loud, full of ideas and everything. Whereas Pumla is very much a put your head down and just get on with that kind of person. Um, and so it's been a very interesting thing watching these two personalities do this throughout the year. Um, and, and I think that they've both taken strain in what they've done. I think that Pumla in, in particular has had a very hard time with losing staff members and family members and things. And her son has also been very ill this year. So she's had a very, very rough year. And so I just wanted to, in their absence, just really honor them for the journey that they've taken, the fact that they are still standing at the end um, and that neither of them gave up. Uh, at any point during the year and they, when they were part of the cops and the workshops they really really um, brought some magic the two of them um, I love what Pumla said about being able to um, she said she um, what's the word that she used she doesn't hold meetings anymore she convenes meetings there we go yeah. there we go it's no longer a meeting it's a gathering yes um, which, which represents a, a big shift. And for Pumla, another thing which, which really struck her was the gifts. And actually, I thought of Pumla this evening because I was like, oh, I have to give everyone a gift. And I was like, actually, no, I don't have to give you gifts because I'm going to give you a, a gift of, um, of appreciation later. So that's your, that's your slab of chocolate <laughs> for later.